Hello, our church family, Pastor Justin here, and it is great to be with you for another Summit Up Devo. And I am in my backyard because, gosh, it's happened twice now in probably the last nine months. But we've had, I have two dogs, and we've had a skunking. Uh, if you've ever experienced this, you know what kind of misery comes with having to clean dogs that have been sprayed by skunk spray. But about six months ago, uh, somehow this thing got in my yard. Um, I have fence all the way around. There doesn't seem to be any gaps. And then again in January, it happened again. And I had to figure out what in the world is allowing this skunk into my yard. Because I gotta be honest, it's gross. Like I'm tired of washing dogs five, six, seven, eight times to get rid of the skunk smell. And my poor puppies, I mean, it's just smelly and it gets everywhere. For about two weeks after it happens, you just notice that smell in everything. It doesn't matter what you do. It just kind of clings to everything. But it reminds me of a story. We're in this series, Unite, for such a time as this. And Pastor Craig preached about the, the people of Israel and Nehemiah and them building the wall around Israel. And the necessity of protecting and fortifying their city for protection from enemies. Well, I, I don't consider a, a, a skunk to be an enemy, enemy, but I'll be honest, <laughs> they're kind of my enemy. Um, so I had to figure out where the gap was in my fence. See, and there's a parallel in this with our church and with me spiritually. Um, there are gaps in our church with our resources that we need to help make up as the, ch the church and as the body of Christ. But there's also gaps in my own spiritual life. And sometimes they come on just by just going through the motions of every day. I get busy and I, I neglect some portion of my chair time or I neglect prayer or I neglect reading the word of God at the same level that I, I, I want to. Um, or I neglect to study or something along the way. Or I have a friend who has a need and I, I neglect to reach out. And so my question and my challenge for you in thinking about all of this is, how will you lean in to helping us fortify our church? How will you do that? I know many of you have already done the pledges and I know it's coming for the whole church and I just want to encourage you lean in with that with your resources. The second piece is this, is that how are you going to do it? Is there a gap in your own spiritual life? Is there a temptation that you're struggling with? Is there a sin that you're struggling with? Is there a gap in your fence where a skunk is coming in that you need to seal up? I found the hole, it's about a four inch gap around the side of my gate. It's about that wide, but it's just enough space for that little skunk to creep in. Well, I put a big rock in front of it. And so now hopefully we won't have skunks coming in. We also turn the lights on outside before they come in. So we've done some steps to prevent it from happening again. Are there things that you need to do in your own wall, in your own fence, in your own spiritual life to take step forward to prevent these things from happening in the future. Well, that's my encouragement. That's my story. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for joining me today, Heights Church. We'll see you next time.